Hello, welcome to everybody. My name is Marco Emilio, and I am a PhD candidate of the Institute of Philosophy of University of Neuchâtel. In this talk, I would like to present some um, insights and uh, thoughts about the relationship between cooperation and environmental goods from a philosophical perspective. I suggest that a comprehensive theoretical understanding of cooperative processes can build a coherent framework of the different goods at stake uh, uh, in coping with climate crisis. And in particular, it, it can also help to better understand the role of uh, bottom-up social processes uh, in relation with uh, institutional actions and uh, economic dynamics. My presentation will be structured into main parts. In the first, I'll sketch a brief analysis of uh, uh, the ontological and social action preconceptions of some international climate agreements and how these preconceptions uh, have been influenced by mainstream economic theories, in particular, the theory of public goods. And uh, I move to um, argue a brief philosophical investigation uh, of the ontological relationship between cooperative processes and environmental goods. I draw on the contribution about the ontological concept of robustness developed by Philip Pettit and on the uh, thesis uh, of Raymond Tromela about cooperation, collective intentionality, and social ontology. I'll start with the first point. Uh, uh, the challenges posed by climate crisis are often considered as bundles of collective action problems. Uh, however, in the last decades, uh, the understanding of these uh, different collective action problems regarding climate change uh, have been understood through the lens of the theory of public goods often, and often through the concept of global public goods, uh, um, articulated by Inge Kaul. Uh, a powerful metaphor in this context uh, has been the metaphor of the tragedy of the commons. Um, this influence has shaped a theoretical environment uh, uh, where the role of social relational entities, such as trust, and the uh, view of uh, collaborative processes regarding natural resources are quite pessimistic. Um, However, empirical research, I'm referring to the works of Elinor Ostrom, um, has highlighted how local communities can manage uh, in the long term uh, natural resources and uh, can not deplete them. At the same time, many authors uh, have highlighted the role of social relational entities. Uh, hypothesizing uh, the existence of some kinds of relational goods. I'm referring to the works of Caroline Lutter in particular. Simultaneously, the inability of international agreements to foster adequate levels of international collaborations regarding climate change um, demands uh, to better investigate uh, how it is possible to catalyze cooperative processes uh, involving individual and collective actors. From a philosophical viewpoint, uh, it is possible to formulate this question. What might be some ontological features of cooperative processes to force environmental goods? There are the specific characteristics of uh, cooperative processes uh, regarding the uh, climate crisis. And moreover, uh, what uh, role can social relational entities play in this kind of cooperative processes? It is reasonable to say that environmental goods require solution for collective action problems through complex cooperation and to uh, through um, different uh, cooperative processes that must persist across different um, natural and temporal contexts. 
Therefore, it is possible to argue that environmental goods are robustly demanding, which means that uh, environmental goods demand uh, you know, robust way specific attitudes by individual and plural actors. At the same time, solving climate change demands large scale cooperative processes that must be able to involve different actors with uh, uh, many attitudes uh, and with uh, variable attitudes toward climate crisis uh, and uh, uh, toward the possible uh, goods that can be achieved through cooperation. From a theoretical viewpoint, this uh, second element uh, asks for uh, developing an evolutive and processual image of human cooperation, where different uh, actors um, can be involved. It is uh, reasonable to draw on the contribution of Raymond Tuomela about cooperation. Raymond Tuomela, in his investigations, has highlighted uh, a complex uh, view of co human cooperation distinguishing between high-mode cooperation, more individualistic, where the payoff is uh, um, mainly individualistic, uh, pro-group high-mode cooperation, and cooperation with mode, where the payoff uh, is conceived from a group perspective. Moreover, in this framework, uh, cooperation with mode uh, is based on some form of re-reasoning or collective reasoning, uh, involving some form of collective intentionality. Regarding environmental goods, that hypothesis might contribute to articulating different levels of involvement that can overlap each other between different actors, uh, and also can hypothesize that uh, actors can switch their cooper cooperative mode between an individualistic one to a more a collectivistic. Moreover, it is possible to suggest that uh, Cooperation with mode seems to be more robust, and uh, uh, this kind of cooperation can have the uh, ability to persist across different uh, uh, situations. In addition, uh, the investigation of uh, uh, Tuomela have highlighted also how trust uh, is strongly related to different. Uh, forms of cooperation, and also that uh, some form of trust uh, is demanded by cooperation remote. Therefore, concluding, it, I, I would uh, like to emphasize how environmental goods uh, robustly demand cooperation remote at different levels. In order to achieve envir environmental goods, uh, uh, seems to be necessary to force different cooperation in we mode you know, at different levels, local, regional, national, or international. Some topics to discuss can be recognized in uh, the role of learning in becoming we mode, and also how to facilitate trust that is a specific uh, entity uh, that uh, is related to some forms of uh, nest intentionality. Thank you for your attention.